Finally tonight, the pandemic made clear all the challenges the state faces in tackling food insecurity and the growing importance of meeting those in need where they are. For more than three decades, Elijah's Promise has been working to break the cycle of poverty and alleviate hunger through its new Brunswick-based soup kitchen. Now, rather than wait for people to come to them, Elijah's Promise is hitting the road, on wheels to be more exact. Leah Mishkin reports as part of our ongoing series, Hunger in New Jersey. A stovetop with four burners, oven, grill, a hot box to keep food warm, Elijah's Promise Soup Kitchen is now on wheels. I drove it when we first started, but now I have to do many things in the kitchen, so I'm sending people out. Head chef Curtis McNair and his team cook on site and then load the truck with hot meals and sandwiches to take on the road. Tuesdays, we're, uh, we're taking it to, I think it's East Brunswick. Uh, Wednesdays is getting ready to be Spotswood. And every Saturday, we take it up to Sharon Baptist Church in New Brunswick. It's starting to come more and more now that they know it's free. And we know there is just tremendous need out there. So our goal with this truck it was to be innovative and to do something different in a way that could better service the entire community, not just New Brunswick, but the region. Chef Curtis says he used to cook for about 10,000 people a month before the pandemic. Now the number has nearly tripled. He's averaging about a thousand meals a day. I do barbecue chicken. I do baked chicken. I do grilled chicken. I do uh, sometimes steak. I do shrimp. Every day we give out a hot meal, a cold meal, and we give out a turkey sandwich with it. During the pandemic, we started doing something that we hadn't done before, which was we started bringing the meals to people who needed them. One example, a senior building in need of lunch because day programs where they would normally eat shut down during the pandemic. Elijah's Promise Executive Director Michelle Wilson says that's where the idea for their food truck was born. We do serve a homeless population, but a significant portion of our guests are food insecure because of um, employment issues. So it's the working poor. Many of our guests have um, multiple, multiple jobs, um, but can't make ends meet. And so, especially during the pandemic when there were layoffs, so we saw a lot of new faces. We, we see people every day who never thought they'd be eating at a soup kitchen. It's in a good area for people to like try and get to, but then some people can't make it. I've had people call my phone and ask me, can we deliver the food? Elijah's Promise board member Ronald Strominger drives it to an area church on Saturdays. He says he also stops by the soup kitchen every morning on his way to work to help out Chef Curtis. Oh, the community loves him. He's like uh, the mayor, the governor, the president of this uh, city. Everyone appreciates all he does and they really love him. I'm from originally from New Brunswick, so I know most of the people that come through here. A lot of them are good friends, and they'll be like, thank you, Chef Curtis, thank you. People who were arriving for food when we were filming started cheering him on during our interview. Do you like my food? Yeah. 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 Chef Curtis says he can probably help 30,000 more people a year now with this truck, and he's ready for the challenge to cook even more. I'm Leah Mishkin. For NJ Spotlight News. Funding for Hunger in New Jersey has been provided by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, working with others to build a national culture of health that provides everyone in America a fair and just opportunity for health and well-being.